to Table Talk, the show where we talk about your topics using the hashtag Table Talk and the subreddit r slash sourcefed. I'm Lee Newton. I'm William Haynes. And I'm Danny Rosenberg. Is that the sign for asshole? It is. And it's 03! Oh no. It's our class. Oh, that's going to be gift. Someone do that. Someone gift Will kissing on a, <laughs> oh, on a, on a teen. <laughs> kiss, kissing on her cheese kiss. All right, you want to dive in? Danny, yes. dive in! I'm going to dive in! Keep on diving! Ooh. Right. Every time I look at this bowl, I want it to be full of candy. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so badly. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. From at Ian Enrico, if you received a legitimate invitation to join the Illuminati mm. or Freemasons or else, how would you react? Yes. I'm in. I tell all my friends. Yeah? I'm in the Illuminati. I'm hanging out with Jay-Z. I've probably been a lower Illuminati, though. You can't tell yeah. them, though. Like, oh, that's part shoot. of the Illuminati is, like, Dang it's it. all, you can't See, I'd be the first know. one to break it. And they'd be like, I'm sorry, you have to die, William. I'd be like, yeah, but I outed By, you. Like, I outed you. By, like, multiple rapes in oh, a very no. intense ceremony. By who, Jay-Z? a lot of candles. Jay-Z and Beyonce? If it, I don't know how the Illuminati If it offered were. me oh. a chance to hang with Beyonce, of course, that's I'm what I keep thinking it. too. I'm like, Bay, I could totally hang with Bay. We get brunch. Yeah, we've been um, drinking. We've been yeah. drinking. <laughs> but I wonder what <laughs> what does it entail uh, with the see, Illuminati? Because I don't want to hang with her if we're like burying a body. Yeah. Maybe I do. Maybe, Maybe I, I do. do. <laughs> you would love that story. Are you oh, kidding? That God. you're actually the kind of girl that I think would be down for most. Danny is one of those people that I'm like, if I felt like I was in a really big disaster, I'd call Danny, and she'd be like, Don't oh, yeah. call me yeah, ever again. True. But here's what we yeah. should do. I'll meet you in 20 minutes. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah. I'd be like, I'm on cons, where are we going? Where are we going? Poop, poop, dancing girls. <laughs> shrimp, 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 shrimp. <laughs> no, honestly, I, I don't know, because this is a really interesting question. Interesting, because you said, join this. It's an invitation. Join this or else. Well, probably gonna join it then. Yeah. Because, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like it's like, come to this barbecue or else. Or else. <laughs> or else I guess what? I'm eating a hot dog I, I today. I have to go. It's a, I Aren't guess. like the coolest people in the Illuminati, though? Like, yeah, but I, I think. Name any guy besides J and Basie that you. Basie. Basie. Oh, I think Leave it's Jay and Basie. We'll leave it. Basie. Basie. Well, who else is in the Illuminati that's famous? Uh, Lady Gaga. Pee Wee Herman. Taylor Swift. <laughs> I don't know. Lady Gaga, Taylor Swift, uh, Tom Cruise. All right. Um, Ooh, Tom Cruise is in two clubs? He's in two clubs. He's a Scientologist He's in two clubs. and? <laughs> well, and then what was it? Isn't um, the with Eyes Wide Shut, that's kind of supposed to be about Freemasons and Illuminati oh. and like the disastrous, crazy, weird Wait, stuff. Wait, but you're you not get into the skull? Freemasons. <laughs> Freemasons you can get into. No, right? Freemasons is like a bloodline thing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Didn't it used no. to be, though? It used <laughs> DJ to be shaking like, his head at no, us. No, DJ, are in. you a Freemason? Can we get the, are you can we learn the our ring? Computer? Show me the ring. Why are you here? You're supposed to be like in an upper echelon of drinking something somewhere. I want a Wikipedia of this stuff because I don't know what the hell, like. Well, no, I think Freemasons. I have an idea of what I think these clubs are, Then you That's know, what you should go with because that's what I'm going with. This is my idea. My idea that a Freemason is is you have to have like an uncle that was bloodline Mason. Dang it. Oh, yeah. And then they have to invite you. I would go. I, but I can't like when I'm in like a professional environment. It's very hard for me to be professional. So they, they'd, be, they'd have the, the huge meeting, and I, I just can't oh, not yeah. troll. I'd be like Ugh, the whole time. Just or like, you just you have crumbs the all over. Yeah, crumbs yeah, crumbs all over. Like, like I'm sorry. Puppies. Like I didn't know there was unlimited donuts here. Like I just, <laughs> I went I out. Have these great sketches like an awkward this student. Yeah. <laughs> They're so, like, how did he get in? Like my dad. <laughs> my dad. He's a he's a producer. And it's just like. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I have to him. let him in. Yeah. I know. It's a bloodline thing. <laughs> He'll be the human sacrifice. Oh, okay, great. Fantastic, Frank. Thank you. He's slurping his Pete's coffee. Because they would have Pete's, not Starbucks. Oh, yeah. What, are you kidding me? They spring for the good stuff. They spring for the good stuff at the Illuminati meeting. <laughs> I just want to see that meeting where it's like Lady Gaga and Ooh, yeah. Beyonce and Jay-Z and Nicole Kidman randomly. Because I just okay. feel like, you I want know, how else does she get work? Um, but... <laughs> She's a nice girl. I don't know. I feel bad. There's certainly maybe Kristen Stewart. That Kristen would make Stewart. Oh, I'm me in. a lot. I'm in. I, I feel like, like she just wants with her. Yeah. Oh, this lady. And I've seen you do an impression of her. This I like it. I, I'm into Kristen Stewart. I don't, really? I'm into really bland people. Oh. Because mm -hmm. then I look like something compared to them. Oh. And then she's like, like the Mrs. Dash yes, of women. I think she's, she's probably like just really chill and compared to yeah. all the other people who are super on. Yeah. She looks like she's asleep all the time. Yeah. yeah. But she's probably just like really easy she's going. Like, My biggest beef with her is that she is over it as an actress. Whenever she has to talk about anything <laughs> yeah. she's done, That's she's true. like, I'm over it. And I'm like, then give me the chance, yeah. bitch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I 
I'd love, I'd I'm, love I'm to be excited. under it. I would love to. Would you have been in Twilight if they gave it to you? Yeah, are you kidding me? Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they'd be like, oh, cool, now let's give you every other movie script. And you go, cool, now I get to prove myself mm. as not a turd. Yeah. As not a turd. But I'm still going to be now on a platform where they just hand you scripts. That yeah. would have been great Constantly. with you they say and you Snow White and the Huntsman. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Starring Lee Newton. Just me. Just me and, <laughs> me and Charlize Theron. But, like, they'd get us confused yeah. so much. <laughs> Like, which, one which? Which, which one is which? What is this one want to be the mirror? Did you be coming know. up through that milk? And, like, and, I'd, <laughs> and I'd be like, they're like, Lee, it's not a nude scene. And I'd be like, no, I is it now. Be, but can, can it be? be? Mr. But Director. Why not? <laughs> Look, I take my job seriously. Can this please be a nude scene? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ben Let me show my tennis. <laughs> Please. Mm. So much milk. Um, <laughs> What's a thing that you did that seemed really smart but turned out stupid or vice versa? Oh. oh. Really smart. I feel like that's every single time I eat at a fast food or mm. Arby's. I'm always like, Arby's, there's certain places where every single time you eat, Taco Bell, even though I love it so, is one of those. Where you're like, oh, I'm gonna go to Taco Bell today. See, and you go, mm. I enjoy that feeling. Like, mm -hmm. after you, like, ate too much, it, like, makes me feel warm and, like, I feel something. Like, like mm -hmm. it's like a hug from the inside. That's how you feel. Is yeah. By yeah, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I feel filled up. Like, you know, it's good. Yeah, mine, it's good. It's then you can go to sleep immediately. Immediately. It's like, <laughs> those food couples are my favorite, though. Yeah. Right? They're like, huh? Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> I don't like when food comas happen on a date, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. And you're oh. like, oh, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Take See me home. Later. Take me home. You're not going to, nothing's going to happen. I had, too, I had too much. I have funnel cake. <laughs> Sadness. Yeah. I'm done. I did. I had a funnel cake the other day because it was like all of us were at a pier, me and my whole family, and they were like, well, someone needs to get a funnel cake. Mm -hmm. We'll all split it. And after like three bites, I was like, I regret this immediately. Yeah. I've it never turned out funnel cake, though. No, I'm not you gonna. Can't. I'm not a yeah. fool. No, 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 no. I love funnel cakes. I'm not an idiot. But I've never it, met every anybody who's like, I'm not really into it. Like I'd be like, get out of here. Like that one time oh, when we went to Six Flags, and I was like, oh, funnel cakes. I was like, I don't have a whole bunch of money, but F it. Yeah, it's gonna be a funnel yeah. cake, and they're like twelve fifty. Yeah. I didn't even. Because I know we'll pay it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even have. I, I didn't even have. Uh, I didn't even eat the whole thing. I like gave it to some mm -hmm. people. I was like, if there's an opportunity to get some funnel, you gotta go. That's why whenever you see yeah. those things on, I feel like it's it's just the worst thing on like QVC or anything. Whenever they have. Anything that brings some special food to you on a daily basis when they're like, you're your own funnel cake maker. I'm like, that's not how this works. <laughs> yeah. It's going to lose its preciousness. I won't be able to get out of my house at one point. Mm. I was yeah. like, I can't stop making the funnel cakes. Hey, who wants to come over and get funnel cakes? <laughs> Danny. Funnel cake party every day. Like in an intervention. Hey, Danny, we're all here today because we love you. <laughs> Maybe that's why Krispy Kremes are always way too far. That's what it, that's. Krispy that, Kremes are always, always too far. They're always way too far. Yeah. yeah like the, so. But I have a problem. There's one right by me in Burbank. And it really yeah. is one of those things where if it, if the hot and now sign is on, there's a rule. Mm. You there's a rule. You have to get it. <laughs> yeah. It melts in your in your mouth. Mm. It's so good. It's so like good. a little melt donut in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. That's gonna be a joke. Like, Enjoy it's that. So good in your face. <laughs> But yeah. it is. It's one of those. And I introduced my roommate to it, who is a wonderful 12-pound uh, binge eater. She eats like, she's like a William. She yeah. really is. Yeah. Where she can eat like whatever a 19 -year -old the hell boy. she wants. <laughs> and, but she's a frenetic girl. You feed her coal, she'd poop out a diamond. And she's oh just one God. of those like well, tightly wound. But she really is. And she'll eat. And she went and then she's like, two dozen is a lot. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't eat two dozen dozen. Are you okay? Yeah. Darren and I did that. <laughs> she's going to lose her foot in any given moment. It's going to be dark. I asked Darren at least once a week, can we go to Krispy Kreme? Because he has a car and I don't, like, can we go? And he's always like, no. But one time, actually oh, yeah. a couple times we you did. You gotta wear him down. Yeah. And we both got a dozen. And mm. I, like, ate, like, half of them on the way home. And I was like, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm but happy. I'm, <laughs> shouldn't have done this. Good enough. Yeah, and he brought his to work the next day. I did not. I, I, <laughs> no. I Anyone that this. can handle it within a 24-hour period and not eat all of them, what's wrong yeah, with you? Yeah, what's, what's your what's issue? What's wrong with you? What's your deal? <laughs> one time... I was driving home from a camping trip with my boyfriend, and he was like, hey, you want to do it? <laughs> so I was like, yeah, but I got to buy condoms. So we stop at a gas station. I don't want to just buy condoms. I was like, I can't oh, yeah. just buy condoms. <laughs> so I bought bagels, too. <laughs> Bagels and, and condoms. I thought, How does that make I you thought like, I thought, like, oh, Come this on. is so smart. Like, I'm going to buy bagels and condoms, and, like, that way it just doesn't look so obvious. And then it looks he was like, it looks weird. really... Really it bad. Looks like it looks bagels. like you're gonna go home and like 
do some weird shit with those bagels. And I realized, like, oh, that was stupid. That was, that was like, are you teaching I thought that? I was being real sly. If you also bought bananas, you could have gone, like, oh, I'm teaching a sex education teaching class. Teaching a sex education class, you should have done. Why the fuck are you buying the condom? Oh, yeah, DJ's man. That's my Girl. shitty early 20s boyfriend for mm. you. Oh, that is. That's your job as a man. Um, no, but. You don't have me. My, we, we hold open doors and buy condoms. That's, that's it. That's the only that's job it. you have. Pull out a seat, hold open doors, buy like, the condoms. No, I was like, I was more concerned about not getting pregnant than he was. Well, and I understand that. Yeah. yeah. So I was just like, I don't care. He's like, I'll run. Like, so you might as well. I just would love the idea of just like, and then Danny's like prepping. She's like, great, fantastic bagel. Let's go. Let's do this. He put his hands in his head and he was just like, why didn't you buy those together? You're like, because I don't want to just like, I heard, I'll like, eat them. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat them. I heard a life hack where if you're gonna buy anything like embarrassing, you're supposed to buy a birthday card with it too, so it oh. looks like you're buying it as a present, as like a yeah. gag gift. Like but there ask, was like one night. Cream there was like a night where I was in the 99 cent store, and I remember this guy just had a cantaloupe and a, like 11 or 12 bottles of whipped cream, and I was like, <laughs> you are having a night, sir. <laughs> like, That's happy, interesting. I went happy to whipped cream night. <laughs> I went to the Vons the other day, and this lady bought like at least five bottles of wine. I don't drink. I don't know if that's a lot or not. It's normal. Okay. She could have been stocking up for the week. But yeah. then her card didn't work. It kept declining. I was like, ooh, this is so fun. I wonder what oh, led to what. Fun. Like, where's the chicken? Where's the egg? Yeah, <laughs> I, what's in her life? What's, what's going it? on? Like, Does she have a problem? It's just a Wednesday, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry about it. Oh, sad. <laughs> I right. gotta get back to church. I gotta get back to church. <laughs> Swipe it again. Swipe it again. I love that. You're like, it's still not gonna work, man. Karsten Skoglund at Karsten Skoglund says, what is the worst thing your parents caught you doing? Mm. Ooh, nothing. They never I caught me a, doing jack. I had a brother, uh, if you can call him that. <laughs> but uh, I had a diary that I wrote down everything in. Oh, no. Um, because I wanted to, because I had read the diary of Anne Frank, and that made sense to me. I had a lot of feelings. I was a feeler. I was also, I hyperbolized most things in my life at that time because it was a diary and you can't tell I'm lying. Yeah. I also like when you talk to it, like I anthropomorphized it and I was like, hey, how are you? I was like, it's I a would book. do that. It's a book. I'd be like, it's sorry, like it's been so long, diary. Sorry, it's been so long, that's my favorite. <laughs> anyway, talk sorry, to you tomorrow, it's been diary. So long. Talk to you tomorrow. You're like, it's a piece of paper. But it's I like Tom had a Riddle, diary. Like, <laughs> it's like you're it's right. It's Voldemort. Yeah, you're it's like, Voldemort. I missed you. <laughs> yeah, Rob, where you been? <laughs> I remember I wrote in my diary, uh, and it was it was a dumb move because it didn't say like diary keep out or anything. It was just one of those composition books, like a normal composition books. And I wrote in that, and then my brother uh, ratted me out, and he didn't mean to. So he says, <laughs> I still don't know if I trust him to this day. He didn't mean to show my parents, but it was like they were looking at the conversion thing in the front, and then my mom was like, what is this? She read my diary and it Aww. exposed a lot of truths. And she, I think she felt really bad about it too because she was trying to like get around it. But it was one of those things that I was like, never again. And I remember they were trying to be so good about it, just trying to be like, hey, like there's stuff in this diary that we need to talk about Aww. and blah, 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 blah. And then as like a very angsty 12 year old, yeah. I burned it in front of them. <laughs> in front of them? I literally tore it out and they're like, no, those are your memories and we're sorry. And it just, we just wanted to talk about it. And I was like, no, no, I'm like done with diaries. I would love it if you like just flames it up in your eyes and you fire like, starter and it burned it in your mind. <laughs> you read my diary. You read my diary. <laughs> Just flames. Wait, how did you show it to them by accident? It was, it was what, they were looking at something, they needed a conversion chart. This is still, but this is where the shady area comes into play. Because he ratted me out. He felt horrible about it, apparently. Mm. Um, but they were looking, there's like, in the beginning of those composition books, there's like a whole, yeah, you know, like, you know measurement, conversion, and all that. And so they were looking at that, and then my mom, like, kind of like, mm. something caught her eye, and she was like, what's this? And then she read on, and I, and then I just Well, I mean, that, she could have stopped after a line or two yeah. and been like, oh, this is very obviously Lee's diary. But she was but she's like, concerned. I accidentally read the whole she thing. She was a yeah. very concerned <laughs> parent. And I understand, because again, a lot of things were very hyperbolized in there, and probably not uh, what she thought I should be doing at 12 years old. And so, it was a lot of boy stuff, kissing, smooching, mm. all See, that kind of stuff. See, if I was a parent, I'm not gonna lie, if like my kids had diaries, I read it every day. See? Every single See? day. Would never tell them. Oh, no. It, I wouldn't lie, to, I wouldn't like, lie about it though. They're like, Dad, did you read my diary? I was like, yeah. It was really good. Your syntax is a little off. <laughs> you need to start capitalizing some of these sentences, but, but 
but <laughs> it's a good storyline. But honestly, I think I would too. I think I would definitely, but I would think I would try and be that parent that was trying to be coy about it and be like, you know, it's your body, right? <laughs> okay. That makes you feel this you way. You know, you can, um, you know, you can say no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just I had a lot of, just my mom's such good. a bitch. Right. She's okay. She's okay. No, Please. she's a bitch. <laughs> A lot of change in my mind on how I felt about my mother. I just remember, honestly, them being so calm about it as I'm tearing up a journal in front of their faces. <laughs> and I'm like, I would have laughed so hard I got like my kid dramatically yes. tore up a journal in and my, front of me. And they were just like, no, this is your memory. We're sorry. And I'm just like, no, nah, no, nah, I can't. And then like took an aim in a flame and put it like in a bowl. And I'm like clicking. They're like, don't light it on fire. I'd be eating popcorn <laughs> at that so point. Like, don't do that. She's getting me where she's wired out. It wasn't dramatic. They were just like, don't light it on fire. No, don't run. Like, this don't is your go. lowest don't moment. Run away. <laughs> just like we're sorry. It just we wanted to make sure you knew that just because he's popular. Oh man! Like <laughs> you left the room and they were like, she wants to be an actress. She wants to be an actress. <laughs> she. She's very dramatic. She has a plan for the drama. It was like at a dinner with their friends. And they're like, she wants it. No! No! I think my, I think it's like, what did they, they caught us doing? Not really, I didn't really do anything bad, but I remember one time, I, I've kissed very few females in my life, mm. but I, I, one time my friend had a birthday party with just me, him, and like two other girls, <laughs> and I kissed a girl. And, oh. I, and my dad picked me up, and I was like, hey, daddy. He's like, yeah. I was like, I kissed a girl. And he was like, yeah, right. And that was it. That was like, it. Like he didn't believe me. He legit oh, didn't believe no. me. I was like, you don't believe me. Like, like no, seriously. Like, I, my mouth was on another girl's mouth. He's like, like adorable. Mm. Like, sure, uh huh. Bill, <laughs> Billy, stop. <laughs> Billy, <talking>. stop. <laughs> stop. Stop talking. <laughs> my mom was very anti-lying. She was like, I'd rather you steal than lie. So when I'd I got in trouble, steal. I'd get in way more trouble for like the lying than what it was. But I, yeah. I was latchkey kid, so I snuck a lot of food. Yeah. I definitely was like, I'd find like frosting tubes for cake and like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I'd that. eat a lot of. No. Uh, no! <laughs> anyway, I'm not doing that anymore. I'd, we, I'd, I'd steal a lot of food. Steal a lot of food. <laughs> and then my mom would be like, Did you eat the cake frosting? And I'd be like, No. It just oh. blew corners of your mouth. <laughs> your teeth, but your I was a horrible is liar. My mom scared the hell out of me as a kid. So I'd be like, no. Like, you'd like, avoid God, eye contact. Yeah. Right, the eyes dart right mouth. when you say the yeah. word that makes a lie. Yeah. And she'd be like, you did lie. And then I had to do standards. I had to do like 500 standards. I had to, like, it was all my thing. So it was never like I did horrible things. It was like, you lied about stealing you, jelly beans. <laughs> like, just tell me that you stole the jelly beans. Yeah. I was definitely that kid where I'd sneak like peanut butter. Like I remember sneaking like oh, peanut butter. And they're like, you, you just make a big spoonful and like Bing. Yeah. You don't have to sneak it. But my mom would always hide chocolate places and I was really good at finding those mm -hmm. places. I'd sniff it out. And I just like chocolate hands. Huh, man, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, you, no, you chocolate milk. Like you were, there are good. times you weren't supposed to be eating? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm sure, because candy was a big, candy was like a big in my oh. family. My dad is one of those people that he wanders off a lot in the sense that, like, whenever you're at a family vacation, you're like, where's dad? And he'll always come back with something gooey and confectionery. He's like, <laughs> found a found a cake store. And you're like, How? Yeah. But he's, he's got a gift. He really does have a gift. My family also had a budget. And my oh. mom was like, you're eating all our food. Yeah, that was the, it was like, See. you can't eat, that hamburger helper is supposed to last us all week. And my yeah. mother would be like, this growing boy, they'd be like, <laughs> Yeah. Now I remember there's one time he was eating raw potatoes and she's like, Jake, cook it. Like, <laughs> this is cook so it. bad. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my mom, I was like a latchkey kid too. So like my mom had this thing called gofa, which is an amalgamation of two words, go for it. To, which means like, she's like, I'm not home, go for anything. Oh, so there was never that, like, yeah. yeah. There was never, don't eat that. It was like, if it's there and you can't eat it, just don't cook anything. They didn't well, tell yeah, them not to cook it. If I could squeeze some frosting in my face, they let me. Like, <laughs> yeah. go for it, go yeah, for it. Too. Worst no, thing. My mom was like, kind of, she was, she's a great parent and I love my mother. Very micromanagey. Like, mm, like, like, you know, I couldn't drink non-diet sodas. So if there was a party at school, I was all about the regular so You were just And then I was like, ah! <laughs> My mom is the opposite. She like, uh, she is against diet and like no calories. She's I don't want no diet, nothing. No calorie free, nothing. I want all like the, the salt. She trade moms for a day. I know, the key to being skinny is it, all that. Just, I'm gonna lose don't my listen. mind. Finally. Oh, cause you could eat whatever you wanted. And for me, it was like, I gotta sneak it. Yeah, mm. I gotta sneak it. But do you remember that time when you went over to like a friend's house where they like, cause we never had snacks. We never had anything that was cool. And then you went over to that one rich kid's house and he had like, 
Gushers and Ritz crackers mm. and yeah. like just a pantry full of yeah. everything. And they were like, yeah. go to town. I, I had a like a best friend. Like, you don't know what you just, you, you just open the floodgates. Yeah, and I remember too. his mom had to be like, you can, um, you can get out of there now. Yeah. <laughs> In a walk-in pantry, <laughs> just like, life is living. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can get out. That's so funny. Do you ever, okay. Remember those pop? Tart commercials, yes, where they would like be like, Ugh, fuck pop tarts, and put them in their locker, and somebody would open it. There'd be like all these stacked pop tarts. I'd be they're like, like I want toaster strudel. What's wrong with and you? And I was like this kid living in a trailer park, like, mm. FedEx me those pop tarts. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude, what's wrong with what you? Are you <laughs> those are great. So guys, hey, let us know in the comment section down below. Uh, what did your parents catch you? What was the question? I can't remember. What's, what's your the, favorite what's snack as a kid? Yeah. That's my question. I think Ooh. we turned all of these Candy into food. Candy snacks. Yeah. We got Candy snacks. You know what? Mine is a, a, a hands down like any those Malo little Oreo and Ooh. anything anything in there with a Cookie Town USA. I love it. Teddy Grams. Oh, Teddy Grams. Fruit by the foot. And they play guitars and they'd be like Teddy Grams. Yeah, go to town. Favorite snack as a kid? Fruit Let us know in the comment section down below. Jello cups, pudding cups. I am Lee Newton. I am William Haynes. And I am Danny Rosenberg. Pop tarts, like any of the fake pop tarts, like op tarts. Put oh, yeah. syrup on them. We syrup on a pop tart. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I like I plain pop tarts. Eggo waffles. Remember that just dream? Plain I like them tarts. without the frosting. Yeah. The frosting is too much for me. Never. Really? Yeah. I just plain and dirty pop tarts. I think you have a different those? relationship yeah, with yeah, food without frosting. than we do. Yeah, I yeah, think I you do. do. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna bet that, I'm gonna bet that that wasn't your only friend. <laughs>